the better the others in the straight and four gypsy model has gone home too well to score number four gypsy model the winner second placing will go to number one Ells Cove and third will be three Rotkara Bomber there they are 413 official 413 after the running of race number nine on the card number four gypsy model the winner second placing to one Ells Cove and third to number three Rotkara Bomber after the running of the ninth margins on the event were a length and a half by a length length and a half by one placings 413 and the time about to be simmer forward on the ninth 508 metre journey. Facing this time, pinging the boxes, Roy the Fox will lead on, settling down. Lisa Sloy challenges early, they're followed by Natalie Fox to the first turn. Into the back straight they head, and uh, taking over in front, Lisa Sloy two in front. In second placing, Roy the Fox, a length away then came Billy Kohler, they're followed by Natalie Fox, a gap back then go to Rio Ozzy Andy. Second to last as they work their way off the back straight, there was uh, Hitman Jack Nessie, Thunder last of all, round the home turn though, and Lisa Sloy well clear in the last, and Lisa Sloy gets the money. Second placing went to Billy Kohler go to Rio our wide third in behind them then to pull up as they work into the catching pens there was Hitman Jack there followed by Aussie Andy well back out of it with go to Rio and the uh, bunch wait the placings race number 10 the final event here tonight number eight Lisa Sloy King the boxes Roy the Fox joined it on the inside early but as they headed into the back straight, Lisa Sloy took over, raced away, and was far too good in the run home. Lisa Sloy, number eight, the winner of the last on the card here at Dapto tonight. Placings confirmed eight, five, and one. Eight, Lisa Sloy, the winner. Five, go to Rio. Second, one, Billy Cole, third. Behind those, two, seven, and six. So the complete placings, eight, five, one, two, seven, six, on the last out of the Dapto tonight. Easy win to Lisa Sloy. Standing by for the margins and times to come. Derby, six, three and four. Possibly with five in fourth place and most unlucky. Now it's sand down there on their way to the boxes here for race number five. Here's the uh, the latest market. Total denial is now into a dollar seventy. Thirty-nine Montana Millie, Matt's Mancunian twenty-one, West End Prince ten, Regal Tiger eighteen, Boomeroo four, Michael Harriet thirty-eight and 11 for tip-top tiers. Righto, number five got third at Albion Park, so it's six, three and five. Dapto ratings, seven, one, five and two. And Enlighten's a fairly solid favorite there for race number six. Righto, let's head out to Andrew at Sandown as runners approach the boxes. Yes, Greyhounds are arriving at the 715 metre boxes or I should say just about to, they're not far from there. Dollar 60 total denial, it's pretty short. Uh, big odds the others. Uh, there's only one other greyhound under the $10 mark. That's Boomeroo into $3.80 on Super Tab. $11 for West End Prince. Uh, $21 Regal Tiger and $12 for the pink tip top tiers. Bit of a spruik around. I'm, I'm half tipping the pink. I know I'm no tipster with the greyhounds, but I reckon it can run a hell of a race uh, for Peter Giles. Well, she can too. Um, as we know, she probably takes it easy in the first half of her race and then she comes Finishes storming up. She sure does, but it's a very strong field tonight. I mean, I know stayers are strong, but all these greyhounds, they just finish on so strongly. I suppose you've got a lot of pace in box two with Montana Millie. Um, she led for a while last week and um, just sort of couldn't run it out as strong, but... Dogs like Regal, Tiger, Boomeroo, Tip Top Tears, they're just so strong, so it could be a very exciting finish. No, exactly. Total denial, $1.80 uh, or around that mark, yeah, $1.80. New South Wales, $1.50, $1.90 uni tab. It's pretty short here. I, I, I don't want to build things up, but Pauline wasn't exuberating a lot of confidence. No, she wasn't, and I, I've just got this inkling that there could be an upset tonight. I think he is very short at $1.80, but I suppose he's drawn his box. He is a track record holder. He's um, just been racing in tremendous form, so he's hard to go past, but a dollar eight is very short when you've got a field full of top um, stayers. All righty, let's go to Ron Hawksville, the running of the Group 2 McKenna Memorial Final over the 7.15. Here's the Hawk. 
Montana Valley, West End Prince, Boomeroo and Tip Top Tears. There's the green light. And they're set to go. The favourite is Total Denial at 193.50, Boomeroo. Racing. Total Denial came out okay to the inside, going fast as My Girl Harriet out wide. My Girl Harriet's going to get across and lead Total Denial, followed by Regal Tiger. Two lengths away to Boomeroo, followed by Montana Millie. A fair way back in the race there, West End Prince. And near the rear would have been Matchman Cutie and Tip Top Tears out of the straight, though. And My Girl Harriet led Total Denial, getting up on the inside. Two or three to Boomeroo right on the speed. Two or three to Regal Tiger, followed for the back then by Montana Millie. Then West End Prince followed for the back by Tip Top Tears and Matchman Cutie and Coming up the back straight and My Girl Harriet from Boomeroo getting up on the inside. Followed by Total Denial, Regal Tiger. Boomeroo is just the leader for home. Total Denial on the outside. There came My Girl Harriet, but Boomeroo clear. Wins it from either My Girl Harriet or on the inside there. Uh, would have been uh, Total Denial. They were followed further back in the race there by Tip Top Tears. And then Regal Tiger followed by West End Prince and Matchman Cunian. The winner here will be number six, Boomeroo at about $3.70 and one twenty. It'll be close second and third between one total to nail on the inside at one even, ahead of seven My Girl Harriet around 570, and just in behind them five Regal Tiger and four West End Prince. Sixth of Brown, Boomeroo takes the McKenna Memorial in a time of 42.50. 6175, 6175. Number six, the Brown, Boomeroo is the winner. And he's turned the tables on total denial from the last time they met in the Albion Park Gold Cup final. And he's got home by about a length over total denial. And in third placing a grand run there by My Girl Harriet. 6-1. I like her to beat Catala Bale who began brilliantly from box one last week. Box four is a little bit harder tonight. Joyful Hawk in the box three tends to run, run out. Um, Dashing Adams in box five tends to run in. But I think she'll be up there at the start. She's had six, six starts in this track for three wins and two placings. Then number two, Misunderstood, who got back in the field last week, but she really does run home strong and is quite smart in the, in the field and runs home strong on the rails. And then number seven, Ebony Adams, who began well last week also, and the draw suits her out here. She's had five starts in this track for five placings. I really like Little Magna, and I think she will improve from last week. So Little Magna to beat number four, Catella Bale, two, Misunderstood, and seven, Ebony Adams. All right, this is the laurels and of course haven't we had some great winners of this race particularly in the last few years 12 months ago it was Hayla Harley who's then went on and won the Cranbourne Cup creative whiskey won it a couple of years ago labyrinth there for uh, Stan Ralph Manamble Gem was a winner for, for uh, Graham Bate uh, Hanson Kelly I know Peter Dapper and Mandy will be watching up there at Seymour tonight caught up with them in a feature story yesterday you'll see that in the next uh, few weeks on the catching pen Peter Dapper and trained the winner of this race back in 1996 with Hanson Kelly then we go back to grands like Sandy's me mum and Winifred Bale has been a great list of winners there, there is and I suppose you it's interesting to see how those um, bitches that win these races go on to produce enough if you look back through the years of the bitches that have won it they've always gone on to produce some really good stock and yeah, hopefully this year will be yep. no exception. All right, now having a look at the tote figures here, we've got two sixty for Little Magna. Uh, we've got four uh, seven dollars fifty for the check misunderstood, four ten uh, four dollars ten for Catala Bale, and five dollars for the pink eight duallys missed. They are the main ones. Now a couple that we haven't spoke to, John Westerlow, we haven't spoken to. John's around here somewhere. Uh, yeah, here we go, John. What about the uh, the hope of your greyhound? Yeah, here? well, mate, if she puts in, like she's a chance. You got to take her on trust, mate. She's sort of there's two of them. Yeah. But if uh, she can lob anywhere near the front, the first corner, she'll be hard to beat. Yeah, it's just crucial this first turn, isn't it? Of course it, it is. Of yeah, course it is, mate. Yeah. Good That's luck right. to you, John. You. Thanks, mate. Charlie has a party. He's got a couple here. Charlie, uh, you happy with both greyhounds? The way they've come out of the kennels for you? Very good. Looks. I hope for the best. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I hope for the best. <laughs> Bad draw, but a uh, bit of luck. Probably we wouldn't win a race. Doesn't matter. Now you're handling the five. Does that give us an indication of which one oh, you're hoping? No, no, no. Both the same. <laughs> both, both the same. same both the same. All right. Good luck to you, Thank Charlie. You. All righto. Righto. The greyhounds uh, have been asked to come forward with their by their handlers. I think we've spoken to uh, most of them, but uh, we wish them all the very best in the Laurels final. Two dollars sixty. The red. Nine ten. The three is tightening up. Joyful Hawk. Seven fifty for the two. 4.30 for uh, Graham Bates' run of the blue, $5 the eight. The Laurels of 2002, we wish them all the best. Here's Ron Hawkswell. Last of the Greyhounds have been locked away. The Green Light is on. They're set to go for the final of the Laurels. Already, 
Racing, Little Magda on the inside away well, showing speed as misunderstood and Katara Bale and wider out as Evelyn Bale going into the first turn, Katara Bale's going to drive through and lead, it's Katara Bale fighting the front of the back straight over Evelyn Bale, five lengths away then Kung Little Magda followed by Ebony Adams further back of the race they misunderstood and then Joyful Hawken at the rear, Dooley's best and Dashing Adams coming off the back and Katara Bale is a medal in front, six lengths Little Magda runs on, then came Evelyn Bale, Dooley's best but it's all Katara Bale a brilliant win in the Laurels Final two, Katara Bale about four or five lengths. Little Magda running on strongly for second. And Dooley Smith third, followed by Dashing Adams. Further back, misunderstood. And a fair way back then came Evelyn Bale and Ebony Adams amongst the tail enders with Joyful Hawk. Yeah, Graham Bait again. And Katara Bale, brilliant performance. And uh, she got out to, uh, well, amazing odds at the end. Four dollars and one thirty. And the overall time about to be posted at 30 and 17. Righto. Andrew standing by at Sandown after the win of Catella Bale in the Laurels final. We'll try and catch up with Graham when he comes down for the presentation there, but uh, Brad Kill, congratulations again. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I've handled twice before for Graham the Laurels. They both had run second, so it was a fair time. And <laughs> <laughs> well, he blew him away, didn't he? He got that break yeah. on the first turn oh, going into the back straight. I said, she's just racing brilliantly now. Um, there was a pressure there. She's she's the one who wanted to push through it. The others didn't. Yeah. That's a, that's a simple that's a simple fact. She pushed through. The others getting in trouble didn't like it, and she just she spaced them. And once you once she led like that, well, yeah. they're never going to run her down. Five seventeen to the first nineteen twenty seven, and Dean said thirty seventeen overall. Yeah, it's not that's not too bad considering. Well, she had the pressure on her early, and she was joyful. Hawk did hit her out of the boxes, but she she just bounced straight off and went straight past it. So yeah. she she did everything you'd you'd wanted to do, and that like box four in finals to win from that, you have got to be a good yeah. bitch, and oh, she's she's beat a good field. She did. She's given Graham Bait uh, the kennel back to back laurels too, of course, with Hayla Harley and Minamble Gem won this race back in nineteen ninety seven. Beatty will come down for the presentation, won't he? Yeah, you'll come down for presentation. <laughs> just hope those they, Hayla Harley recently retired, so just hopefully they can they can uh, continue like Moonabelle Gem. She's thrown yep. some. She's thrown real fast dogs, no, that's right. and that's hopefully she they can do the same. Good luck, Brad. Thank Thanks, mate. Brad Keel joining us, representing Graham Bait. Well, I'll try and catch up with Graham shortly uh, when he comes down for the presentation. Thanks, Dean. Yeah, I don't think uh, Beatty will be frightened to have a chat either. I think he'll be um, pretty happy to. JB Tadmore's the favourite here for the cup.